lines are ridges or teeth on a drive shaft that mesh with grooves in a mating piece and transfer torque to it, maintaining the angular correspondence between them. For instance, a gear mounted on a shaft might use a male spline on the shaft that matches the female spline on the gear. The splines on the pictured drive shaft match with the female splines in the center of the clutch plate, while the smooth tip of the axle is supported in the pilot bearing in the flywheel. An alternative to splines is a keyway and key, though splines provide a longer fatigue life. Types There are several types of splines, parallel key spline, where the sides of the equally spaced grooves are parallel in both directions, radial and axial. Involute spline where the sides of the equally spaced grooves are involute, as with an involute gear, but not as tall. The curves increase strength by decreasing stress concentrations. Crown splines, where the sides of the equally spaced grooves are usually involute, but the male teeth are modified to allow for misalignment. Serrations, where the sides of the equally spaced grooves form a V. These are used on small diameter shafts. Helical splines, where the equally spaced grooves form a helix about the shaft. The sides may be parallel or involute. This can either minimize stress concentrations for a stationary joint under high load, or allow for rotary and linear motion between the parts. Ball splines, where the teeth of the outer part are implemented with a ball bearing to allow for free linear motion even under high torque. Uses Drive shafts on vehicles and power takeoffs use splines to transmit torque and rotation and allow for changes in length. Splines are used in several places on bicycles. The crank arm to BB shaft interfaces that are splined include ISIS Drive, Trivative GXP in Howitzer, Shimano's Octolink, and many others, most of which are proprietary. Some crank sets feature modular spiders, where torque is transmitted through splines. Cassettes engage the free hub via a spline that is one groove wider than the others to enforce a fixed orientation. Disc brake mounting interfaces that are splined include Center Lock, by Shimano. Aircraft engines may have a spline upon which mounts the propeller. There may be a master spline which is wider than the others, so that the propeller may go on at only one orientation, to maintain dynamic balance. This arrangement is commonly found in larger engines whereas smaller engines typically use a pattern of threaded fasteners instead. Manufacturing, there are two types of splines, internal and external. External splines may be broached, shaped, milled, hobbed, rolled, ground or extruded. There are fewer methods available for manufacturing internal splines due to accessibility restrictions. Methods include those listed above with the exception of hobbing. Often, with internal splines, the spline portion of the part may not have a through hole, which precludes use of a pull slash push broach or extrusion type method. Also, if the part is small, it may be difficult to fit a milling or grinding tool into the area where the splines are machined. To prevent stress concentrations, the ends of the splines are chamfered. Such stress concentrations are a primary cause of failure in poorly designed splines. See also, hearth joint, key joint, reading. Coupling. References. Further reading, Robert Rich Robbins. Tooth Engagement Evaluation of Involute Spline Couplings. Brigham Young University. Retrieved July 8, 2010.